So this is a tough, tough fight. This is not designed for her. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, it's time to talk about Betsy. Those of you who caught it on stream and some rank ups for me, finished 7.4, was so excited about it. I had so many people on stream, I wanted to rank up someone, but I didn't know about my rank fours. I had to take a time, got that video out. Hopefully you've had time to check it out. But I was happy to take Betsy to rank three and I left it up to uh, the viewers, the commenters. Betsy or Cersei, who's going to rank three? And barely, by a smidge, Betsy won. And I could not be happier with this. And I like Cersei. I want to eventually get Cersei to rank three. Now, I'm going to show you three fights on things I think are unique about her or I think will help you understand her play style, things she can do, and why I do believe she's a valuable addition to anyone's account. And I mean that by anyone. Now, we will take a look at the fights. We're going to show, I'm going to talk about a certain ability and then a fight, an ability and a fight and so on and so forth. You obviously get it. Uh, one of the things I want to point out here, and this will be in every fight, is mine is awakened. I have her actually at SIG 80. Pulled her quite a few times while trying to get her and Omega Sentinel. But what this does is whenever a debuff is purified, it's going to give her this nice bulwark passive. It's kind of a big deal, and you're going to see it play in, and it helps her kit a lot. Not necessarily the flow, but her survivability and her ability to take multiple fights or survive in a difficult fight. The other thing that we want to talk about before we jump into uh, this first fight here is, um, let's see here, the psionic mode, I believe it is, where she's going to be placing these debuffs. Now, once you've entered psionic mode, it's happened from throwing a special, right? And then you throw another special to turn it off. I don't want to say these debuffs are no big deal because there are fights where I used the slow and it was helpful. But I think focusing on these debuffs as far as like you're going to use them I think it's a bit of a, um, it's misleading or it's maybe not where I would focus when playing her. It's where it's not where I'm enjoying focusing. They're basically just think of it like a mini game. You're using them to then get them back off. When you face a champion who purifies, which will show, it's gonna help get your prowess that much quicker. And when you're not fighting a champion who purifies or a node, keep that in mind, um, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get those off when you throw another special, which will give you your prowess. The other thing it will do, though, is they kind of have a corresponding buff that comes with it. Now, the buffs themselves are not like a big deal. When you purify, the buff isn't amazing. Like the Fury, it's not amazing. But the one that is, and I'm going to show this to you, is the Unstoppable. When a, when a slow gets purified, you're going to get this Unstoppable. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, time for our first fight. Now, this is not against a Shrugging Champion, but we're going to talk about the slow and the Unstoppable and how to kind of play her when you're not fighting a champion who's helping you out uh, by shrugging things so you can get more and more prowess. So here we go. This is the event quest, so her damage is going to be slightly inflated, but you're going to see, once you get to those SP2s, it's all okay. It's all gravy. So here we go. We're not landing any of our debuffs except for the one I'm getting from running. I believe it's called Resonate. So that's not her psionic mode, but uh, you'll see that coming up here as soon as we throw a special, which should be, I think, right about here. So we're now in our psionic mode. If we wanted to, once we do this, we could go medium, medium to cancel out the unstoppable. Let's, uh, you'll see, uh, we will use it. And there are nodes like this in the game where the unstoppable is on a timer, where you can see it. And so you can uh, intentionally throw your medium, medium to cancel it out. Like you saw, we just did. We utilize it, even though you can't keep it up 100% of the time. I think that's important to keep in mind. Now, we're gonna keep on going through here and uh, we will throw another special to Go back into psionic mode. We now see that we have four of those prowesses. Also, I talked to you a little bit about the bulwark that's coming from the signature ability. Look how little damage we're taking from blocks on the hit. Pretty nice. I think that's a really nice part of her kit that allows her to stand up or kind of live through uh, some of these blocked hits that she's going to be taking. Also, I do believe we take advantage of the unstoppable at some point in this. At least I thought we did. Here I go, we should throw it. Okay, so now we're going to unstoppable and then watch this. We're going to use it as a bit of a counter punch like you would with Mole Man or Killmonger. Right there, you can use that to get openings. It's really nice. MP Blaze showed that. Really, really smart player. And you can use that with a champion like Betsy for ebb and flow intercept or anything like that. Really, really cool. You see the damage it's possible, how she can get those prowess going, and you can still utilize the slow. It's not, it's not, not, it's not a nothing. It's there. It works in a node like this, and then it can also help you can create an unstoppable, and we've seen how helpful that can be in some fights. Now we're going to take a look at her against a champion who is shrugging. Now remember, there's a lot of champions like this in the game, plus there's a lot of nodes like this in the game. You place a debuff on them, they shrug the debuff, 
And here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get these prowess and these prowess stack up quite a bit. They increase her damage significantly. Each one's only 10%, but when you stack up to 25, you're seeing where this is going. In fact, one of the things I found was, um, I just by kind of playing her, then I throw that SP2. By the time I get back to a second SP2 for this massive damage, the opponent's already dead. So this is pretty cool. And why uh, her going against Shrugging Champions is really her wheelhouse. And remember, it's not just Shrugging Champions, it's also nodes. In fact, I will link his video in here, uh, two of them, B McG and MP Blaze both did excellent, excellent videos on it, going even more in depth on this debuff shrugging and other nodes that you can use this. All right, now this is against a shrugging champion. I'm showing you the nodes so you can see that this is not gonna be buffing her, her damage. Uh, this is the tech uh, chapter of the current EQ, but we're gonna be going up against this crossbone too. I didn't check the SIG, but as we know, he can get up to a 90% chance. Uh, I did have to do this fight more than once, so that's why I had that kind of uh, funny little timing there. But here we go. So watch, every time he shrugs something, it's going to give us our bulwark, and those appear to be stacking. Pretty nice. Also, we're getting those extra prowesses. So uh, with a champion like this, right, this isn't APOC. He's not cutting off the ability to shrug. She's going to probably take some blocked hits. You might be baiting some heavies and things like that, which makes that bulwark even better. Just. It's not improving the flow of her. I think DLL calls it maybe the internal, internal synergies, but it is very, very helpful because you can see how many blocked hits I'm having to take to get this fight going and not take too many hits to the face. We're gonna go in and we're gonna throw our special one, get that really nice energize. I absolutely I love that. It's one of my favorite buffs in the game, uh, being able to get to my specials quicker. Now, I'm still having to bait out these specials, but the energize will still help me when I'm able to land those hits. This is really cool. I'm really enjoying this champion here. Uh, Crossbones decided he kind of fine. I was like, dude, I'm making a video. Could you throw your specials here? <laughs> he finally started uh, playing ball for me. Here he goes. So we're just going to kind of keep up with this pace. I like this. You could go to your special three if you wanted to. I like these SP1s until you're ready to throw the special two. Now watch this. Yeah, he, he had that energized, so I eventually sent him to his SP2. You guys know, that was with five Furies. That was pretty darn good. I'm very happy with that amount of damage being taken on my block. I think I was gonna kind of go in here and throw my SP2. Let's see how it goes. Um, I know it doesn't kill him. I know it doesn't, but it does some, some nice damage, some solid, solid damage. Come on, crossbones. There we go. Punish this, throw the SP2. So we took him from 46. These are some nice yellow numbers, nice yellow numbers. Maybe with a couple more prowess that finishes off that fight and you keep your prowess. That's the other thing I really want to show you. You keep your prowess. So the longer that fight goes, the harder and harder your specials are going to hit. Pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, and then here's the last part of her utility or something that, this is really cool. I, I don't know how else to say it besides this. This is actually the thing that made me most excited for her in conjunction with the rest of her kit. And part of why I'm like, she's unique. Like. I want, okay, let's go and just talk about it, right? So there's the uh, signature ability, which I know we've referenced, but I want you to see that. It's gonna come into play in a fight like this, especially one that takes a little bit more time. And then also this line right here, it's the second one from the bottom. For each prowess effect on Captain Britain, her defensive ability accuracy is increased by 10%. That seems strange or unusual, right? But one of the things that we are seeing more and more this game in this game are nodes that decrease our defensive ability accuracy by these small amounts. And that's troublesome. It's in war a lot too. And keep in mind, they often come along with some sort of like block penetration or something like that. But hello, sick ability. But additionally, additionally, we have champions like, I know, I know many of you are like, well, I have APOC. Well, first of all, a couple of things. One, not everyone has Apocalypse. Two, he goes immune to, he goes immune to Disorient. I couldn't remember. It's not just Disorient. And we've seen this in other nodes. There's Concussion. And there's other things that Kabam could come out with. I mean, they could come up with like bad trip, slightly inebriated. I mean, who knows what they could come up with, right? This is how the game works, is it continues to creep. And this isn't, she doesn't develop an immunity to concussion or disorient or anything else that comes out in the future. She is getting an increase in her defensive ability accuracy, which allows you to take some notes and get those reliable parries, which is a big deal, especially in war or if you just aren't sure if your parry is going to stick. Let's take a look at the fight. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. If we continue to get more and more nodes like this, 
I think you're gonna see it. So here we go. This is Hard Knock Life. Uh, there's this Perry vulnerability, power efficiency, blah, blah, blah. But the important part is the Hard Knock Life. This uh, champion, this is the event quest. It's 294,000 health. So this is a beefy boy. And he's uh, his fight's further complicated by his specials costing, I think, reduced cost about 50%. Now, you can see that we have the, uh, I think it's a disorient on us, that passive. So you can't shrug it. Nothing you can do about it, right? As soon as we get a prowess, uh, we'll have plus 10% ability accuracy. So uh, we're in our psionic mode now. So we need to get a few debuffs on. Keep in mind, this is not against a shrugging champion. So this is just kind of a straight up. This is not an ideal matchup for Betty. This isn't ramping her quickly or anything like that. This is just, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so it's going to take a minute because we're going to have to bait out some of these specials because of the um, reduced cost of his specials and also not going against a shrugging champion or a shrugging node. But it's important. I want to show you this. Also, we've done a decent amount of damage for for not having thrown a, an SB2 yet and having no prowess. So there we go. We throw that. We got two. We purified two of our debuffs. So we've gotten two bulwarks and two prowesses. Going to kind of come in here. This fight gets, and there's a reason I'm showing you this whole thing, because I want you to see the build up to it and how you can build up the prowess. And then also at some point, see, there we go. There I had a parry. I'm going to get to the point where I need to know that my parries will stick. The two uh, prowess are helping us out. I think right there we had reduced defensive ability accuracy, but it was still enough for our parry to stick, which was great. With the reduced cost of uh, Omega Red Specials, it is taking a little while. It is what it is. I want you to see this. Now we're starting to get closer in. I really didn't want to send them to a special two um, and then get too many spores on me. But at some point, I think I do end up sending them to a special two. And that's when I really needed those parries to land. Keep in mind, we've only got two of our prowess as well. Right? This is not a shrugging champion. We'd have significantly more in that. Or if I was able to more freely throw my specials to move in and out of her psionic mode, this would have been sped up significantly. So this is a tough, tough fight. This is not designed for her in any way, shape or form. I want to make that really clear because I do like this champion. So there we go. We've got our unstoppable. We've got five prowess buffs. And then now we're about to reach the point where I remember uh, I ended up needing to, I needed to know my parries were gonna land. So here we go, get hit in the face. He gets sent to his special too. Yeah, this is what it was. Uh, so now we're starting to get the spores on us more quickly. Now they're gonna come on even quicker. And this is where I needed to know my parries would land. There we go, I knew it could land. So I was able to go in and punish. Same thing here, he throws another special too. So he's still got that going. The spores are starting to add up. I really need to know my parries are gonna land. I've got five prowess. So I have plus 50% defensive ability accuracy. There we go. That special does some really nice damage, really nice damage. And then I think we're actually going to go in and finish him off here. Uh, yeah, I think right here. Another parry that I needed to know was going to land and it was there. That's not flashy. She can do flashy. You can get those prowess up very, very high do some really big numbers with her. And that is really cool. And I want you to see that. I think that's important. But I wanted to show you, there are things in her kit, like that bulwark and that plus defensive ability accuracy that will help you last in fights. It'll help you stay alive, right? Like they have this like survivability stat now when they're showing us uh, how powerful a champion is or they're, how they're supposed to be. I think her survivability is gonna be pretty, pretty darn high because she can make it so you can confidently block and you know your parries will land with her increased ability accuracy. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you think I missed anything, how you're liking her, how you're loving her. Um, as far as tiers go, I think we're probably gonna debut her in the premium level, which means she's a very good champion. If you wanna take her to rank three, if she's gonna add something to your uh, account, go for it. But uh, no, I don't think she's necessarily the best. I'm not comparing her to Professor X in Apocalypse, but there are things in her that are very, very unique that I think could benefit your account. And then make sure to check out MP Blaze and BMGG's videos. If you have any questions about them, those are very, very thorough videos. And I think you'll enjoy them a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.